Hi Cancer, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, in this bonus reading, we will take a little look at love, what's going on in your life, and advice, guidance from the guardian angels. And then we'll clarify all your energy with the tarot. My intention with this bonus reading is if something in your um, May readings didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will. So please only take the messages that resonate for you. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your message. Please keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. Tons of information down there. Please go check it out. And if you're new and you like how I read, my style, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free, like, share, subscribe, comment. All that great stuff would be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about at least four readings a month. Um, the bonuses I may be changing to the top viewed um, signs from the month before instead of doing bonus readings for everybody because my time is limited since I am a central worker. I still do work full time and until I can make this my livelihood and do this full time, uh, kind of limited on my time and energy. So I'm not quite sure yet. Right now it's five readings, but it may go down to four and then maybe five depending on the bonus readings. So, all right. So this is a new deck for me. This is the Power of Love Oracle by James Van Prague. So let's see what's going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, or Jupiter, Male or Female, General Collective. All right. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. So let's shuffle up here. I'm going to pull, um, get one from each deck, and then I take the bottom of the deck. And then once I pull, that'll be two cards from every oracle. Once I get those, and then we'll look at them, and then we'll get into the tarot. So it's sort of like a quick little uh, general reading. I won't be doing any um, signs or anything like that. So either you resonate or you don't. Okay, that's love. All right, let's see what's going on in life. For you, Cancer. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. All right. Links to your playlist, social media, tons of stuff down there. All right. What's going on in the life of Cancer for this bonus reading for the General Collective? Someone rising Venus or Jupiter spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is going on in the life of Cancer, please? Thank you so much for this bonus reading. Message is most needed. Wow, okay, I think we're going to take that one and take the bottom of the deck. All right, so with this, we will get your advice guidance. This is the Guardian Angel deck, Oracle deck, and not too many people use it, but this is what it looks like. Link below if you're interested in purchasing it for yourself. It's a guide to the Guardian Angel. So if you want to get more familiar, not all the guardian angels are in here. I think there's just four, uh, Uriel, Michael, Raphael, and there's one more I can't think of. So let's see what advice I have for you at this time for cancer. And if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them all timeless. So if something catches your eye, it's going to watch it anyway, regardless of the date. All right, what is the advice or guidance for Cancer at this time for this May bonus reading? Someone rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. Okay, that one and the bottom. All right, let's see what we have for your love portion. We have patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So needing to have patience and love for some reason. And then we have vision, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So I feel like some of you, maybe some of you are single and you're wondering, okay, when am I going to meet the one? When am I going to find new love? When will, you know, love with a person be justified? This is telling you to hold your vision. Don't give up on your vision and to be patient. Uh, divine timing, fate, destiny here. So just be patient and vigilant with your vision. So whether you're waiting for new love, waiting on a love, um, whatever your situation is here. So we get to the tarot, we'll see. Patience is a virtue. So let's see what's going on in the life. So we have the hermit, 
find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. So of course we're all in hermit mode right now in quarantine. <laughs> so nine is a single number. So maybe some of you are single in hermit mode, you know, just alone right now. Maybe if you're not working or you are home quarantine, it's time to do some self-discovery, healing, uh, soul searching, that kind of energy. We have the princess of winter. Inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear, speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. So this is the page of winter, page of swords. So while we're in hermit mode right now, this is a great opportunity to do some research you've always wanted to do. The page of winter can be about learning new things, it would probably be online right now, or reading, or doing something here. Um, or, you know, getting information from, you know, people around you that have a lot of wisdom. And it's honest, truthful communication. So, um, so I feel like some of you, while you're in hermit mode, it's time to do some of that, some of that research you've wanted to do, learn new things you've wanted to do, um, have some honest conversations with people you've always wanted to have honest conversations with while we're in this hermit uh, quarantine kind of energy. So let's see what your advice or guidance is. So we have guidance. So there you go. And that is the same thing as the hermit. I can't make this up. This is literally, look at that same card. Wow. Wow. Okay. Or maybe you're seeking guidance from somebody on something here while we're in hermit mode. And then we have healing. So guidance and healing. So if you need to get guidance in some way, shape, or form for healing, uh, now is the perfect time to do it. So let's see. Um, so the white border there is Archangel Gabriel, this one right here, which is about clarity, insight, creativity, and wisdom. And then the green, I believe, is Archangel Raphael, which is about healing, scientific discovery, intellectual capabilities. So... Wow, so a lot of energy here of healing, finding guidance, giving guidance, uh, soul searching, uh, learning new things, being patient, vigilant. I feel like some of you, especially with the hermit here, nine, that's a single energy. If you're single, you know, especially now we're in quarantine, you know, we really can't get out there in the dating scene or whatever, but it's telling you not to give up the vision you have of, you know, love in your life to be patient trust in divine timing okay cancer so this may not resonate with everybody so please keep that in mind like i said only take the messages uh you feel resonate for you seven of cups so options confusion uh daydreaming you could be daydreaming <laughs> daydreaming about a certain somebody or just daydreaming what it would be like to be with you know your person or a person or a soulmate or to be in love death so we get Scorpio here which I said I wasn't gonna say the sign so I don't know why I said that so Scorpio may be significant to somebody but death is about you know you may have gone through an ending in the past but this is transition transformation uh, healing starting over starting fresh uh, new beginnings so or you're just waiting for you know <laughs> your you know single life to come to an end knight of wands so moving forward very passionately a lot of drive ambition you re might be ready for passion in your life also all right so what else here for cancer strength so being very strong diligent uh brave courageous taming the beast from within having willpower determination so it's a saying to remain strong. You're trying to remain strong here. You may feel like your love life is over and you're ready for some passion in your life. <laughs> you're like, when, you know, maybe you're feeling like, okay, maybe this is it for me. I'm never going to find another person. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck in your head about this. So I feel like some of you feel like you're never going to find someone else or find the one or find someone. It's like just stuck in your head. Maybe this is it. Maybe my love life is just over. But it's telling you to be patient and hold your vision. So maybe time to change your train of thought. 
uh, here to tame that beast from within. Let's just get one more. I think I have a card turned over here. Oh, we do. So yeah, <laughs> temperance. So just know this temperance angel, I'm not sure which angel this is, but he brings in a, something divinely guided for you. So the universe does have a plan for you to bring you that someone that is meant for you in divine timing. But for now, you have to balance out your energies. You have to temper your energies. It's about patience again. So we have double patience, healing, uh, faith, hope, optimism, energy. So the more you balance out your energies, remain hopeful, optimistic, be patient, you can get out of your own thoughts here, thinking that, oh, my love life is just over. Hold a vision here. You know, I feel like you're still ready for, you know, cups are about love. So you're ready for a love, but you're confused, daydreaming, ready for passion and love, but you're feeling like your love life may be just over for some of you. And temperance angel here is to say no. Someone is divinely guided to you in the future just to hold your vision for the future and be patient. So that's what I feel like is coming in for you. For some of you cancers uh, that are single or waiting on a love to return, uh, thinking it's not going to happen, um, thinking it's over, something's coming back around here with uh, temperance. Okay, so hermit, princess of winter. I feel like, you know, while we're stuck here in hermit mode, learning something new or having honest conversations with people you know, you need to have honest conversations with. Yeah, the hanged man. So this is about gaining new perspectives, enlightenment, epiphanies, aha moments. You know, you're just hanging back and the hanged man kind of hung up at home, not doing anything in hermit mode. So let's see. Four of cups. You know, maybe feeling kind of bored, melancholy. You know, I'm all alone. Some of you definitely could be alone here, just feeling kind of bored and blah and, you know. Pick up the phone, have some uh, open, honest conversations with those you haven't spoken to in a long time. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe you're waiting on other people <laughs> like to reach out to you and it's not happening. So you're just sitting here waiting, 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 you know, bored, waiting, a lot of waiting, 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 waiting. So, all right, what else here for cancer, the world? Maybe you're thinking, and this is, you know, World Wide Web, so get on the internet, reach out, you know, social media to people. You know, instead of letting just friendships or whatever just come to an end, you know, because this can be about endings and closures. So if, you know, you need closure with somebody, you know, reach out. It's the perfect time now, especially if you've been waiting. Maybe before you didn't have time, we're all working and busy with life. Now we're in hermit mode. So now is a perfect opportunity to reach out to people that you either need closure with or just reach out. You know, don't let friendships or whatever here end. You know, I I'm getting maybe a little bit of stubborn energy too. Chariot. So this is a positive movement forward. So, yeah, I see, you know, this can be uh, an opportunity to, opportunity to make amends with people you've needed to make amends with. You just didn't have time before. Now is a perfect time and see like relationships, friends, coworkers, whatever here, moving forward victoriously with, you know, with balance, positive movement forward. So make, take that first step, positive movement forward. What else here? Nine of cups. So single energies. I feel like definitely some of you are single here. Got two nines now. So this is about, you know, wishes and dreams coming true and happiness, joy, fulfillment. So I feel like uh, if you've been waiting because you feel like, okay, it's not going to go well, I feel like it's, it's going to go better than anticipated. And, you know, being very happy, you know, with the outcome. Saying, wow, you know, I didn't think this is going to happen this way. So you'll either be getting closure or you'll be mending something here or, you know, re, you know, recapturing friendships or whatever here. So I see positive movement forward and then happiness and joy after. So reach out, social media. All right, let's see here. Let's see here for guidance and healing. 
What is that about? That's your advice or guidance. <laughs> so your guidance is healing. So yeah, it's something here maybe need to be healed within a friendship or something with a family member. All right, so let's see here. What is this guidance and healing about for cancer? Yeah, someone that you either left out in the cold or left you out in the cold. Feeling lonely, neglected, abandoned. Well, this is manifesting a brand new beginning. A whole new direction, a whole new way. Um, new beginnings, so it can mean new beginnings here. Healing whatever this energy of lack is or abandonment. So making a judgment call to do so. Forgiveness, resurrection. Resurrection and forgiveness. Energies of coming back together. And making that judgment call to do so, to manifest something here. So it could be judgment call to heal something here. Yeah, could be something with family, Ten of Pentacles energy here. Or your work environment. Co-workers, friends, family here. Being more stable now. Page of Wands, there we go, reaching out, good news, coming in or out. Finally reaching out and having the drive and ambition to do so, and the courage and the strength. Someone reaching out. Well, all right, we'll take these two. Six of Pentacles to bring balance back into situations here. And starting over, starting fresh, starting new, resetting back to zero. Which will bring in much balance here in either co-workers, friends, family, whatever here, something needs healing. I think it could be divinely guided energy to do so. So listen to your gut, your intuition about that. Uh, you could be getting signs from the universe that it's time to reach out, heal and mend current, certain um, relationships in your life. And I do see here, you know, healing, forgiveness, resurrection, and leaving this lack of mentality behind and more st stable energy. Wow. Okay, Cancer. Well, I hope that resonated for you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.